In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all the top three stocks to keep in your watch list for this upcoming week. We are also going to discuss the overall market as a whole because last week was just crazy, right? And I'm also going to be doing an update on the stocks that I've mentioned in the last video. All right, y'all, let's dive into the charts right off the bat. We got the NASDAQ futures. And in the last video, I shared it before the little sell-off that we had. So the video that I shared, that I recorded, I would say, was recorded at like 7 p.m. Central Time. And then a few moments after that release, everything just started to sell off, right? So... Um, the move that I was actually like anticipating was the one that actually happened during the market hours. So this move right here is kind of convenient to anybody who are future traders, who trade futures, right? They had the opportunity to pretty much make money on this move twice right here. The market was very generous to shorts and continued that trend downward to 17000 and 100 bucks for the nasdaq futures the main question that a lot of you may have right now is are we going to bounce and if so when all right now we're gonna look at the daily and then we're gonna look at what's going on here we have a strong level of support stretching from way back in 2022 at the end of that year or oh, 2021 yeah 2021 at the end of that year right at 16.8 right there okay it stretches all the way across there's also the next level of the next level of support to watch for if this one doesn't hold it would be that okay the line of support from the bull flag that preceded the massive bull run that we've seen throughout the last few months, all right? So these are the levels to watch for as we continue to sell off. And again, like I said, I'm not, I'm not changing my stance. I don't think we're gonna bounce ferociously and just drop this over. I don't think so. No, 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 no. I think, I think it's too soon. Um, right now, the bears are still in control. As for what's going to happen tomorrow, at least for what it looks like right now, it might play some games. We might not see a whole lot of a whole lot of movements. Like I told y'all before, whenever there are massive moves in either direction, either up or down, there tends to be at least the next day, it tends to be like a small doji that appears, which is really annoying because there isn't that much opportunity to make money when a day is a doji. It does, there isn't that much range to really capitalize off the moves, right? So looking at, looking at QQQ right now. So tomorrow we, we might get a doji, but overall the bears are still in control. That gap at the bottom on QQQ at what is this? 406, 407 has yet to get filled i think it could get filled because we already took care of that one and this one is already so so close so for that reason also i have to leave bearish all right for 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 this week again timing when the aggressive sell-off is gonna restart again that's gonna be a little bit tricky it's gonna be a little bit tricky it could be it could be tomorrow or if you get a doji, it could be on Tuesday or Wednesday. All right, somewhere around there. That's where we might continue to, to, to really aggressively sell off. Now, let's look at the VIX because let's see how the VIX did. Ooh, so the VIX almost got to 23. Look at that, guys. I told you guys to watch for a move up to 22 right here in the last video. Again, if you if you haven't watched the videos... You've been missing, number one, you've been missing out on a lot, all right? Number two, I'm going to pin it at the top right section. That way you can check it out and kind of backtrack what I said with what actually happens. And you would be pleasantly surprised. Now, this one, 
it hasn't gotten to 22 yet and in that video i told y'all that when we do get there that could be the market's bottom and we might see a significant bounce with the indices but so far it's not it's not quite up there yet so be patient tomorrow this thing might actually climb up and we might see it slowly curl throughout the remainder of the week now let's look at the the top well before that before that before that let's look at let's look at iwm so iwm again this is another indices it's still not at this level of support another reason to be bearish on the market how long will it play games on the right before we fall that is a mystery to me um but eventually it's gonna fall eventually i think that 18750 is the bottom for the russell 2000s now the first stock that y'all should be keeping in your watches i got i got three again one for the bulls and two for the bears the first one is going to be for the bulls and that one is mmm and i want to share mmm with y'all 3m um because the dow jones have especially on friday it has been showing some resilience compared to the other indices it's been showing resilience now with this one right here it's been beaten down for the past like what two years maybe three years total it's been crushed by more than 50 percent the stock is i don't i'm not gonna say it's a great company or a super like phenomenal company because again we, we do structures here all right but the stock is it has some some track record overall right kind of a bullish trend it's just been on a massive drop throughout the past four to five years and it's bouncing off so um significant levels of support from right here 2011 right it's curling at that level long-term investors i'm sure y'all seeing this and y'all going crazy right now because this is to you the long-term investor who let you dollar cost average and get good stocks for a bargain this is where you go crazy right here all right right at support but a long term because you like to hold for years and years and years that's you right again <laughs> Uh, will it recover i think it will i think i think it will it might take some years to actually get back to his previous glories but i think it will all right but for the short term what i want to share with y'all is this um number one regards on the four hour charts a bullish pennant on the charts right there all right it's there and it's quite clean therefore i is good enough for me to share this in this video there is earnings coming up in like two weeks this is what on the on the 30th of april the end of the month so that might actually propel the stocks the stock higher and change the trajectory of the company it might be it might be the the, the earnings call that does it for the company but with this structure typically again without all the madness in the like with 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 the sell-off and the detention with like in the middle east and all that with all of that i would just say that this thing is going to go to 100 it's going to take a sweet time i don't know how fast it's going to get there all right but the structure is clean now what what the stock is not supposed to do it's not supposed to get underneath 91 if it gets underneath 91 then the structure is nullified if we see it get deeper in here below 90 the stock is really dead well this the structure is really dead and you gotta wait for something um new and better and cleaner but that's that's my thoughts on mmm now the next one that i want to share with all of you this one is um in a similar situation as shopify which i discussed in the last video netty all right, and Netty, this is a uh, cybersecurity company. No, not Netty. Um, it's Cloudflare. I don't know why I called it Netty, but it's, it's Net. All right. Now, this one right here had a descending triangle on the chart that broke down and retested. Right. So we have the breakdown right here on what is this? 
on the 15th. All right, we have the breakdown and then we have the retest. I believe this was Monday, the 17th. No, this was Wednesday. The retest on Wednesday, followed by the continuation downward as it should behave. It never got up here, right? As it's not supposed to get in here. That will be unclean, all right? So, it so far is behaving well. And the bottom for this one should be where the gap fill lies. There is. Okay, now, nah, this this would be kind of crazy to, to see this thing fall. The first gap already got filled right here at 90, but it's still going deeper. I'm expecting a drop all the way down to 77. All the way down to here. This is where the next level of support is. So watch it for a drop. Yes, it is dropping with QQQ and the indices. So if QQQ plays games and give us a doji tomorrow, I don't expect much from the stock. But the overall trend is bearish. And I think that the bottom of that move is at 77, maybe even 76. So now in updates, actually, no, this is two stocks. I got one more. This video is getting kind of long. Yeah, I got one more for y'all. I got one more. All right. Now, the second stock to keep on your watches, this one is also for the bears, is Roblox. Now, with Roblox, the previous level of the recent previous level of support got breached on Thursday, and then it provided a doji on Friday. Now, there is a bullish structure that provide that will provide a massive opportunity for May, but another for um, for for traders or for us to get a really solid entry on it, we have to wait for this one to actually continue dropping. Therefore, this is one of the stocks for the bears. Again, for the short term. And for the short term, for the short term, I expect this thing to drop down to, to around 32. This gap right here, I, I don't think it's going to get filled. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. But for the, for the short term, watch it for a drop down to 33 before we curl back up and move back up to the the resistance at the top as you can see like this is let me go on to the weekly that way it will be a bit more clear to y'all this there is a left shoulder right here there is a head and now the right shoulder is almost down right so if it can get there and we might even see on the weekly chart if the gap at, at the at 3180 gets filled we might see that specific week look like that where we take care of the gap and then we bounce back up and we close as a dragonfly doji before we continue curling after earnings and we move in this direction all right so this is what i'm seeing right now from what the stock is showing so watch roblox for that type of movement within the next few weeks now in updates congratulations to anybody who made bank on amazon all right i told y'all i i told you guys again somebody complained and cried in the comments about me being wrong about <laughs> amazon because they bought in here and then they take an l right here again with trading, sometimes you got to be patient. You got to be real patient. I share with y'all this one. To, 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 I told y'all, watch it for a drop to 174 by Friday. And it got to 173.99 by Friday. All right. I told you guys. So congratulations to anybody who made bank on Amazon. I saw y'all in the comments. Some, somebody made like $1,500 on the drop. Congratulations. Um, the opportunities were there apart from... Like the first one, obviously the entry up here, right? And then if you didn't get that, then you get in after the breakdown of the next level of support, which is anywhere at um, at 179 or below right here in this candle. And then you get out completely and you enjoy your gains at 174, all right? Now, also, this is the update on that stock. Congratulations. The next one that I've mentioned was Uber which played a whole lot of games for weeks before it really committed down, right? I shared this one like way, way, way back here and play games for literally like two whole weeks 
before crumbling from Wednesday to um, to Friday, and it got to sixty nine dollars. All right, so congrats to anybody who made bank on that one. Um, not too straight, or maybe it was straightforward. I just talked about it too early. All right, but I did update you guys that yeah, it's gonna drop, it's gonna drop, it's gonna drop, and it did. Now the next one. And the last stock for today was that I that I gave you guys was Oracle, and Oracle played to perfection. That one I gave you guys on time. All right, when I gave it when when I gave you this stock, um, after the the days after the release of that video, the stock just started slowly falling, falling, falling. So this was a nice should have been a nice smooth trade for all of you who've been who are subscribing and who are um, watching these videos. Those contracts probably gave like two, three, four hundred percent on the puts right here on the way down. And the gap on the left got filled. So congrats to y'all for making bank on the stock. Very straightforward. That's my honest thoughts on everything. And that is the end of the video. Do not forget to annihilate the like button. As always remember, I make these videos from Sunday to thursday at exactly 10 p.m usually central time but this one will be released at 10 p.m no wait usually eastern time but this one will be released at 10 p.m central time all right um if you like to be part so definitely click on our subscribe button and click on the notification bell that way youtube notifies you when i release these videos if you like to be part of a private discord community we can get all of this information in real time as i see them and more you can find that as the first link in the description of the video below don't forget to follow me on social media at paul and guma at Apology lab on instagram and on x and lastly to get some free stocks with weeble you can use the third link in the description of the video below musculus gentlemen this is pedonology lab where we trade patterns and patterns only i will see all of you in tomorrow night's video.